Uh, so, according to what the president says is going to happen, he only suspended parliament for 30 days. Is there a sense that this won't happen, or is parliament just going to come back as normal at that point? Whether it is for a day or a month, it is against the Constitution. Article 80 itself, which uh, the president appealed to to justify his unconstitutional, illegal announcements, does not allow for any suspension of parliament. Article 80 requires parliament to continue to be in a state of continuous session during this uh, such a case of uh, a national emergency and such exceptional measures. So we continue to call for uh, a reversal of these uh, measures and specifically for allowing Parliament to, uh, to reopen and continue its duties. Something that's very interesting that came up this week is this investigation that is going on into potential foreign funding of several political parties, including Enada, and that this investigation apparently started several days before the president did what he did. Is this a legitimate concern about foreign influence or just a smokescreen for the president to try to justify ultimately getting rid of parliament? Uh, I'm not sure whether this uh, case is related to uh, the uh, recent anti-constitutional measures announced by the president or not. Um, this has been had been raised in the past, and uh, another party responded uh, and uh, proved that these were false uh, allegations used at the time by political rivals by uh, a former leader of Atayar Demokrati Party, uh, and I believe it is the same person who has brought the same case uh, again, uh, who is supportive of the uh, recent anti-constitutional uh, announcement. But as I said, I'm not sure whether there is any relationship. Another party has, as required by Tunisian law, submitted all its financial reports and accounts to the court uh, of audits, um, uh, and uh, it has always shown that these allegations are completely false. There is no basis to the allegation that another receives any uh, foreign funding at all. What is your sense of what Saeed ultimately wants to do here? I know there are so many questions. Uh, we uh, are waiting to see, but the signs are worrying, very worrying for Tunisian democracy. Uh, what we're seeing is not only the suspension of parliament, dismissal of uh, government, uh, and all these measures that completely violate the constitution, the constitution that was unanimously adopted by an elected constituent assembly six years ago. We are also seeing a very uh, worrying power grab. Uh, we are seeing the president uh, take control of uh, the uh, judiciary uh, and the whole of the executive branch, which is against uh, the letter and the spirit of the Tunisian constitution, which has sought to uh, enshrine the separation and distribution of powers uh, uh, to, to avoid uh, the concentration of powers in the hands of one man, as we had before the revolution. Uh, uh, this must be uh, reversed. We must return. Uh, to uh, dialogue, uh, to, to, to resolve any, any crises and any problems. Everyone must uh, come together uh, and engage in dialogue to uh, come out of this crisis in order to be able to address the real and very urgent problems of Tunisians. And one of the biggest problems here is there is no constitutional, constitutional court in place court. to sort out the legality of what has happened. Can it be said that the president not only contributed to this glaring gap in checks and balances in Tunisia, but also then fully exploited it? Uh, indeed. What makes the situation even more dangerous now is um, uh, Article 80 not only requires the uh, assembly to continue to function so as to keep some uh, uh, oversight over the executive branch in such a case where there are exceptional measures, but also requires the constitutional court to rule on whether this may continue beyond 30 days. However, parliament has been uh, suspended uh, unconstitutionally, and there is no such uh, court uh, the, yes, the uh, political class as a whole uh, has failed to come to consensus to be able to establish this constitutional court. But the president himself has obstructed this by recently refusing to uh, approve the law amended by the assembly, which would have allowed the establishment of such a court. Right. Looking less and less, sadly, like a democracy. Thank you for bringing us that information.